What's up guys, it's Baby Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley, and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw over the title of today's video, I am filming what's in my purse and this video has been highly requested. I have filmed quite a few different one of these videos and the last one I did was in summer of 2020. So I'm going to do a spring 2021 version and I'm going to tell you what's in my purse and show you the purse that I've been using the most recently. So that is this purse right here. It is called the Louis Vuitton Turin PM and I got this a couple years ago. It's one of my favorite bags and there's a couple reasons why I love it so much. The first one is just the size of it. I feel like I can fit a lot of things in this bag. You'll see how many things I have in here, but it's not too full. And then I also love that the bag is a crossbody, so it has this long strap right here. And then you can just take the strap off and it looks super cute when you have it just as like a little bag with these handles and no strap. So I just feel like it's a very versatile bag. I'm gonna go through all the things that I have been carrying around. I'm gonna prop up the purse on a pillow so you guys can see. And just so you know, this specific purse isn't sold at Louis Vuitton anymore. There are places that you can buy vintage bags like the Real Real, or there is this purse that is like a newer version of it. I think it's called the Rivoli PM, but don't quote me on that. I will link it so that you guys could look at it if you were interested in it. But it's very similar to this bag. It's just a little bit of a different shape. But the sizing is pretty close to this one. So it has a zipper on the top, which I also really like. My Neverfull doesn't have a zipper. And I do like that this one can close. But we're just going to dive right into the bag. You can see that there are a few things in here. Actually, a lot of things. So one by one, I'm just gonna walk you through all of it. And the first thing is my phone. I always have my phone with me no matter where I go. And I love this phone case. It is customized just with my name on it. It says Haley, but I love the like reflection in it and the color. So I'll also link this. I'll try to link everything that I have in my purse as best as I can. The next thing is my wallet. It's a cute wallet and it's just purple or like maroon kind of on the inside. And I've also had this wallet for a while. If you guys have seen my other what's in my purse videos, you'll probably have noticed a lot of these items already. The next thing is my sunglasses and these are also a staple. I have had these specific sunglasses in every single what's in my purse videos and I think the first one was like three years ago so these are the OG glasses but I'll show you them on if you've never seen. They are the Ray-Ban rounds and these are the 50 millimeter Ray-Ban rounds. They're so cute. And I know some people get confused when they go to buy them because the lenses are technically green. But when you look at them on, they don't look green. But I got mine at Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack. I can't remember. And they have been the absolute best sunglasses. Another thing I have is some natural goat milk hand cream. This is a really good hand cream in the, I guess, scent milk and honey, but I feel like I definitely need lotion, especially being in Vegas because it's so dry out here. So I'm constantly putting on hand cream and like lotion all the time. I also have the Detox Dry Bar Dry Shampoo and I am obsessed with this dry shampoo. I've tried a bunch of different ones and still nothing beats this one. I love the scent of it. This is just the original. Their Lush scent is also really good and I think they have like a coconut one but I always carry just like a mini dry shampoo with me. I have a Shout 
wipe and go and these are so great if you get a little stain they have those like tide sticks but i'm telling you these are way better than a tide stick so you should try these out if you haven't some extra gum and i love the case of this gum i don't know why i just feel like it makes it stay really nice because a lot of the times when i get those like what are they paper gum holders they just get like all smashed inside my bag so i like that this one just like stays intact i have this which is just like a little bag that i put my camera in when i'm carrying it around so that the screen doesn't get scratched and then sometimes i'll throw like an extra sd card in here i usually have a extra battery too Oh yeah, it's right here. I I always carry an extra battery with me and I make sure that it's charged so that my camera, if it dies when I'm out, then I have a replacement. So usually I keep it in this little bag. It must have just like fallen out. And then I have some hand sanitizer. This one is the raw sugar hand sanitizer and it's the coconut coconut and lemon verbena scent it's a really good hand sanitizer i actually really love a lot of the raw sugar products even their like um shower products so i have this use hand sanitizer all the time and then i have a couple of masks i don't know how to pronounce the name of this brand i think it's like kitsch but I, I don't know if that's right. And I got this pack. There was one more. There is another like neutral one. There, it was just like a three pack of neutral masks. And I love the feeling of these. They're really soft and they have so many cute packs. I've also washed these in the washing machine and they've been great. They just feel really soft and comfortable they're very breathable so i definitely recommend this brand of masks i have some black ones as well and like a cheetah one too and then i have a claw clip this is just like a white basic claw clip but i got a pack of these from princess polly and claw clips are nice to so just throw into your hair so i usually have one of these in my purse with me Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I have a lot of lip products. I always carry a bunch with me. The first one is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and I put this on every night before I go to bed, but then during the day, I often just throw it into my purse and bring it with me because I just like using it as like a, like a gloss or like a balm. I just feel like it's so smooth and creamy and glossy. <laughs> So I use this a lot and this is the vanilla one. I've also used like the berry one too, which is really good. And then another gloss I have, I recently got this. I guess maybe it was like a month ago now, but it's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It has hyaluronic acid in it and this is in the shade, it says 008 Stone. But I got this at Ulta. And I got it because my best friend Lauren recommended it and it's a really good gloss. I love like the neutral color. It's perfect for putting over a lipstick or just like wearing it on its own. And then another like balm that I have that I also just bought is the Summer Fridays one. And this is the Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla. But this is so good. The one thing I do like about this one versus the Laneige one is that you... I mean, this one comes with like a little stick thing that you can put on to apply it on your lips. Whereas this one, when you take it off, you can kind of just apply it... Oh my gosh, it's like pouring out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was probably squeezing it. Um, okay, I think I need to get a napkin. I'm not even going to lie. Okay, well, I'm going to put some on while we're here. And then I'm going to wipe it. So basically, if you get this, <laughs> be really careful not to like squeeze it too hard. 
but the smell of it, the vanilla, everything about it is really great. But usually if you don't squeeze it, you can just take the lid off and like directly apply it onto your lips. So I do recommend this, just be careful. And then another thing I have is my keys. And these are like my apartment key, my mail key. I have my car key. This like car key cover I got off of Amazon. I just typed in like my car and then I looked up a pink key, key, key cover. <laughs> so I got this one. And then I also have this Louis Vuitton like keychain and this key ring. I love this key ring because it's a bangle key ring. So a lot of the times I just carry my keys on my arm with me. So I got this on Amazon too and they had a bunch of different colors. I had originally bought in the black one but this is like silicone or something and whenever I would put it down it would get like hair or things on it and you could really see it since it was black so I sent that one back and I ordered this like gold sparkly one so if you want to get one of these I just don't recommend getting the black one because I feel like it looks dirty all the time another thing I have is my Louis Vuitton coin purse but I just put all of my cards in here so I carry like my debit card, my credit card, insurance card, my Nordstrom card, all the essential cards and the one thing I do like about this is that it has the attachment to hang on to your keys so a lot of the times if I just want to carry my keys with me I just clip this on and then I can carry this all together. And this is really convenient, especially if I'm like going to the gym or doing something where I don't need to bring like my whole purse with me. This is nice because I feel like I have everything that I need and then I just bring my phone. Another thing I have with me is deodorant and this is the Freedom deodorant. It's the natural deodorant in the scent peach and I just like carrying a mini deodorant with me. I'm not like super specific on a certain deodorant that I always use. I do really like the Freedom brand though and I like the peach scent. I also have some sanitizing wipes that I carry around with me. I have like a bunch in my bathroom and I just refill them when I use them in my purse. But this is another um, Freedom brand product so this is just their Freedom sanitizing wipe. Back to camera stuff, I have my camera tripod. This is just my mini one, the big one you guys are obviously standing on right now. But this one is nice because it's really portable and then when I'm vlogging, I can just carry it around super easily. And there's a button on it right here so I can like adjust how the camera sits. And I think I got this at Best Buy. There's a lot of different tripods though, but I do really like this one. This is a little hand sanitizer too. It's just like a spray one, so you just spray it and then put it on obviously. But it's really convenient when you're in like a rush I guess. And this one too, I haven't done it yet, but I could put this on here as well and then just have even more things on my key ring. And then this hand sanitizer my mom got for me at Anthropology. They do, or they used to at least, have other colors. So they might have more than just like the teal one. I know that she got my brother a gray one. I also have a pen and this is just a pink, I think it's like a fine tip. It says Tri Plus Fine Liner Pen, but I have a whole pack of these and basically it's every color of the rainbow, but I really like the way that these write and I've been using these more when I've been writing my grocery list out and I guess I just threw the pink one in there, but it comes in like a little case and they're a great set of pens. I also have a scrunchie and I got this scrunchie from Princess Polly, but I wear scrunchies in my hair all the time. I also have a couple of hair ties in here. 
but I keep these with me just because I never know like when I want to put my hair back and have it back right now. So I usually have hair ties, scrunchies, anything like that, the claw clip. I have a grocery receipt and you can probably guess it's from Whole Foods. <laughs> And then this is something I'm very excited about. So I have been obsessed with the Pillow Talk lip liner and lipstick. And my Pillow Talk lip liner, the one that I have right now, is so small and just like barely sharpening at this point. So I went to Nordstrom and I got a new lip liner. And when I was there, I saw that they had the Pillow Talk and then they also had Iconic Nude. And I've been talking about Pillow Talk for a long time and so many people suggested me to go get the Iconic Nude. So I got another Pillow Talk so that I could just replace the one that's like almost gone. And then I also bought Iconic Nude. And I am just obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury lip products. I also have the lipstick in here too. And I'm going to need to replace this soon because it's getting really small. But the Charlotte Tilbury products are just great in general. I also recently bought the contour wand and the blush wand. And I'm obsessed with those. So if you guys haven't tried out Charlotte Tilbury's products, you have to. I have a little spoolie in here for my eyelashes and my eyelash lady actually, I don't know if this is like a little hack in case it's interesting to you, but she took little straws and she cut them and then she put her little spoolie on to the straws and I thought that was so fun. She saw it on Pinterest and she was like, it keeps it nice in your purse or wherever in your car and I just think it looks so cute with the like pink spoolie and gold so if you do eyelash extensions or lash lifts or tints and you want to do these for your clients I think it's so cute and then I guess the very last thing well no I lied I have a couple of these little rubber hair ties I have a lot of hair ties with me <laughs> And then I also have some perfume. This is a mini version of the Rose de Vence Louis Vuitton perfume. And this is my staple scent. I use this perfume basically every day. And I have the big one of it. So usually, I have a couple of these small ones. I usually take the big one and just spray into these little ones and refill it. And the smell is just amazing and also it lasts for so long. Whenever I put on this perfume, I feel like I smell like it all day. So that is a really big perk to it. Like I know that the Louis, Vu Louis Vuitton perfume is more expensive, but it's definitely worth it. And another great thing about the Louis Vuitton perfume is that if you do buy it, you can refill the bottle for a way cheaper price. So you should definitely look into that. I thought that was so interesting when I was first getting it. But that is everything that I carry around in my purse with me. And I don't carry this many things every single day, especially if I switch purses, then I will just pick out some staples and carry those. But if I do use this one or like my Neverfull, I generally have these things with me. And I'm super grateful to have this purse and be able to use it all the time. It's a great bag and I definitely recommend the this one if you can find it or the Rivoli PM. But I'm going to close out the video here so I hope you all enjoyed watching it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.